Hey everyone, and welcome back to Body Hair and Soaps. Today's video is going to be on the shaving cream that I make. Um, I showed you a video previously. If you haven't seen it yet, you can go back and watch that on making our um, whipped soap base, okay? Sometimes called foaming butter. There's actually no butter in it, but it is sometimes labeled as whipped foaming butter, um, but it's whipped soap base, okay? And I showed you in a video previously how to make that so you can go ahead and check that out um, it's half the cost of buying it or you can simply just buy your own from a soap supply company of whipped foaming soap it's a pretty straightforward recipe um, once you've got your soap base made um, we're going to use my KitchenAid to whip this up because we want to whip it and get it um, frothy and luxurious um, however you can use a hand whisk to do this but you're not a hand, electric hand whisk, you guys. You try and whisk this by hand, it's not going to work, but with an electric hand whisk, um, or you can use a whisk like I am. Okay, so basic bowl. Everything has been wiped down with bleach solution. Everything has been sprayed with um, rubbing alcohol, allowed to dry. We air dry everything so that we're not adding bacteria onto products. Um, I have all of my containers, they have soaked in bleach water. My containers prepped, okay, and I have all of my stuff prepped, okay. I'm going to get my gloves on. Now this is pretty straightforward. Once you've made that foaming bath butter or foaming whipped soap uh, base, okay, or you've purchased it, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm going to make six containers. Um, and each of those containers will hold about six ounces. These are eight ounce containers. I'm going to be switching to glass, but these are eight ounce containers, uh, but they fit about six ounces of product in it, okay, is the total weight. And we are going to whip this so it doubles in volume, okay? I'm just, I need to spray that down, make sure that it is clean. All right. Um, so this is the whip base that we made before, okay, or you've purchased, they look the same. And you're just going to scoop that out into your dish. I am going to put 24 ounces of the whip soap base in there, okay? All right. So, 24 ounces of the whip soap base, so pretty straightforward so far. Okay, before I add anything to this, I am going to whip it and get it not quite doubled in size. One thing about the whipping the soap, foaming soap butter, um, is if you over whip it, it will deflate on you, so you wanna watch. And if you add your ingredients in now, it will also not whip and inflate for you. So we're going to get this on. And I'll just fast forward through this part. whipped up you guys um, come on you silly thing okay so as you can see we've got this fairly whipped up okay I don't want to go any higher than that um, otherwise it will deflate while I put the other ingredients in there. Let me just put it on here, actually we gotta waste stuff up. Okay, so what I do add to this, now 
when I made this, I did put preservative in it because there is a water uh, in it, okay? Um, and you could add more preservative in when you make each product because you are adding other products. I'm not adding a whole bunch to this. It's not as if I'm making a sugar scrub or any of those kinds of things. So I'm not adding any more preservative into this. If you were going to add a preservative, um, choose a preservative that is formaldehyde free. Um, choose one that is a very, you know, low pH, very gentle, okay? Um, because they are going to be shaving their skin with this, okay? So, what I am going to add is vitamin E oil. Um, now it's not classified as preservative, but it does help with shelf life. It is also very good for the skin. Um, this is a rinse off product, so it's not staying on there too long. Um, but we're going to use the vitamin E oil to bring that healing um, property and a little bit of shelf life to this. Okay, so we're going to add this in grams. We did 24 ounces of the whipped base. I'm going to change my scale to grams here. And in this, I'm going to go with five grams of the vitamin E. Okay, so that's vitamin E. Okay, you can get this from a soap supply store um, a lot cheaper than you will most other places. Okay. Um, so that's the vitamin E. Another thing that I add into the shaving cream is clinoline clay. Now the reason I add this in is it gives it a very luxurious feel when they put it on their skin, but it also helps that razor stay just slightly lifted off the skin so they, feel, they get a really close shave without razor rash, without um, nicking their skin, things like that. So as you guys have probably done previously. Now, um, it's a, it's a, this is a, a really popular thing and this is the reason why right here. Um, because it allows that feeling and it's very gentle on the skin. Okay, so I am going to take and use And you guys, I don't put it all in one place, I spread it out. And I'm going to put in 20 grams. Okay, so 20 grams of the clinic clay. And that will help smooth things out. So let's get that whipped in first, and then we will add our fragrance and color if desired. Okay, so now that we've got that all mixed in, fragrance that we are going to be using is, the, I, I'm going to use the Caribbean Rum today. There's a few fragrances I make. This is my most popular men's scent, is this Caribbean Rum fragrance oil. You can use essential oils in here if you want. This is my most popular and the one that I need to restock. And I am going to use uh, Twilight from Mad Micah's for my coloring. Okay, now we just want a hint of colorant in there. So I am just going to put in a small amount. And it's just for looks, nothing else. And with fragrance oil, you guys, um, it goes a long ways in these products. It's not like when you're making soap um, and you lose some of that scent, so you don't need a lot, okay? So I'm putting in half an ounce of the Caribbean rum. And we whip this up.
See how fluffy and luxurious this is. And once you've got that soap base made, it is easy to make. My dad, who is uh, 83 years old, um, he used to always nick himself. And I started making this, and he uses this now. Doesn't nick himself at all anymore. He swears by it. Okay, so I'm just going to give a quick stir, pulling everything off the edges. You will know um, when it's all mixed because of that blue color. That's the nice part. You don't want to have any white left in there. So we're going to give this a quick stir, make sure we have everything off the edges. And that is what it looks like. We will grab our containers and our scale. Zero this out, and you could pipe this in there if you want. And when I fill my containers, I go to the edges first, and I fill all the way around the edges, just like so, so that the container is full. And then I will just put it around the edges like so. And then I just tap it down. You'll see the air bubbles come to the top. And then Like so. Once I have it filled up, I simply spray my paper towel with some rubbing alcohol so that it's not messy when they open it around the, the lid. I want a nice seal and I just go around the edges like so, getting any excess off that I may have had around the rim and like so. Okay, I will just continue to finish filling these. these now we don't have to wait for these to cool or anything because we didn't heat anything up the body uh, whip body foaming butter or bath butter um, was already at room temperature so no heat at all used once I get the lids on 
because I will be adding in, uh, putting my labels and stuff on these. I give them a quick spray with rubbing alcohol. And I grab a clean paper towel and I just give these all a little wipe so that all the grease is off the outside. If I got any of that stuff on it uh, when I was filling the containers, my labels won't stick. And then I will label these and put my sealing um, wrap around the top and heat shrink that on there. And it's as simple as that guys, so not hard to do, easy to make. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any, uh, if you have any questions or anything else that you would like to know, um, just put it in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I appreciate all of your guys' support and, and watching, um, and have a great day.